Hi guys, today I'm looking extra bright because I am honoring the brand new palette from Kat Von D for her holiday collection. It is the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. And it is called the Remix palette because she asked her fans what her favorite, their favorite palette was from her ever. And she had a smaller kind of like Mi Vida Loca palette with kind of rainbow shades in there where they were a little bit pastel -y, a little bit shimmery. So everybody said they liked that. So she came out with this beauty. It is in gorgeous packaging. And I had uh, one of my subscribers comment and say it actually looks like a record, which it totally does. It's gorgeous. Look at it. It's like a color wheel. And you can see on the back, actually, it's kind of in like a little bit of a record shape as well. It's got uh, 24 shades in here. Retails for $59 in the United States and $70 in Canada. When I realized that it was going to be $70 after I had been like lusting after the palette, seeing all kinds of previews, I was like, $70 is steep. But then I was like... It's just so pretty and it kind of seems like a palette you wouldn't be able to use and I'm a big neutral girl but this was totally a great purchase if you are a beauty lover if you know anybody that loves beauty this would be an amazing Christmas gift and it's really kind of caused me to get out of my comfort zone a little bit because I was like I don't want to just buy it and have it sit on a shelf because I think it's pretty so I'm gonna show you um, swatches of the entire palette I also did three looks with it and uh, just give you my thoughts and you can figure out if you want to pick it up yourself so the first shades we are looking at are love anthem muse and echo love is a great kind of shimmery light pink anthem is a beautiful, beautiful matte purple. Muse is kind of a pastel purple, which is pretty matte, a little bit of sheen to it. And then Echo is a great kind of cooler toned purple with some glitter running through it. On to the blues, we have Dark Wave, Synth, Hyper Ballad, and Lemmy. Dark Wave is a great matte kind of denim blue. Synth is crazy. It's the one I'm wearing on my lower lash line. A super vibrant matte blue. Hyper Ballad is kind of a bluey green that is matte. And then Lemmy is a gorgeous shimmery green. Next up, we have Misfit, Vinyl, Legend, and Fran. Misfit is kind of a grassy green that is matte. Vinyl is a pastel, a little bit neon matte green. Legend is a great buttery yellow shimmer, great for inner, high, inner corner highlight. And then Fran is a beautiful true matte yellow. Some of my favorite shades in the palette, Analog, Harpsichord, Rewind, Destroyer, and Swoon. Analog is a great matte orange. Harpsichord is a kind of a coppery color, better when used wet. Rewind is a beautiful kind of deep wine color with some shimmer. Destroyer and Swoon are both matte and they are quite pigmented as well. Great transition shades if you're looking to do something a little bit different. Something that makes this palette so unique and versatile and usable is the selection of shades in the middle that are neutrals. You have Strutter, Lyric, Black Metal, Skulls, Noble, Molder, and Vox. My only issue is that there's no real mid-brown. Vox is there on the end. It's the deep brown shade. So I kind of mix it in with uh, Strutter or Noble, the kind of more mid-tone shade to get my perfect transition shade. So now I'm going to show you a few looks that I did with the palette because if you're looking at this palette you may think, wow, there's a lot going on. I'd never get any use out of this. These are crazy colors and I'm a neutral girl. There are some really, really pretty looks you can do with it. The first look is kind of a warm orangey look. I started off with just an eyeshadow base and then I put Noble on to make everything blend better. I used Analog in my crease. You can see there's a good bit of fallout, so you definitely want to tap your brush, but it is really pigmented. I used Harpsichord on my lid and realized it would pack much more punch if I used it wet, so you can see there how much more of a metallic finish it has when it's used wet. Then I just went in with a clean blending brush and blended it all out. And I mixed Vox and Strutter together to just add a little bit more definition to the look. Then I went in with Molder as my inner corner highlight and then under my brow bone. On to a more warm kind of red look. I used Rewind on my lid. I had already put down a kind of burgundy-ish base to uh, help the eyeshadow uh, stand out a little bit more and just pack that right on my lid. Blended it out with a clean brush, used Destroyer in my crease, that beautiful kind of matte pink. Then went in with Molder uh, as a highlight under my brow bone and Strutter to blend it all out. And a little Lyric in my inner corner. This was my favorite look that I completed with the palette. I love yellow eyeshadow. I felt like Beyonce because she wore yellow eyeshadow once. 
I am using Vox and Strutter in my crease just to add a little bit of definition. I put down a creamy white base and then went in with Fran, which is that beautiful matte yellow. You wouldn't think yellow eyeshadow would be so wearable, but I feel like I'm gonna be doing this pretty often. It looked really great, kind of retro. Then went in with a clean blending brush and Legend in my inner corner to brighten it up a little. If you're not into uh, neutrals or if you're sick of neutral palettes, this is something amazing and it would also make uh, a really great gift too. I'm so happy I invested in it. I didn't want to at first because it seemed so expensive, but I really, really, really love it. So let me know if you've picked up this palette or if you will pick it up down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!